greetings from Bilman Group of Institutions. Myself, Dr. Edivani, and Director CEO of Bilman Group of Institutions. Today, we will take a you know short overview of whenever you are seeing a, a gestational sac with two fetuses. Now, in a twin case, there are possibilities that we can have a conjoined twins. Now, the point is. How can I say that there are conjoined twins and these twins are not very close to each other? What I am trying to say is that if one fetus is hugging another fetus or very close to each other, it will look like they are attached to each other. They are I am having a conjoined twin. Now, we will try to understand how to differentiate whether I am having a two fetuses who are hugging each other or I am really having a conjoined twin. Now here you can see I am having two fetuses, one here and another this one. So one is in posterior part and one another is in the anterior part. It is looking like that both are conjoined but there are possibilities that both are hugging each other. I am talking of if I do not have any intervening membrane in between. Because if I am having an intervening membrane in between and if the membrane is very thin or a thick, there is no possibility of having a conjoined twin. Now I am talking of uh, when I do not have any membrane, will not indulge in the, uh, you know, uh, chorionesty, amniotesty over there. So here what you have to see, you have to make sure that you are giving sufficient time not to over diagnose the case. But by sufficient time, what I mean, what you have to see in that sufficient time, you have to closely monitor, you have to actually wait for fetal movements. I am repeating, you have to wait for fetal movements. If the fetal movements, whenever happens, and if both are going in the same direction, you are dealing with a conjoint to it. And if in this case, whenever fetal movements will happen, one is going towards south, one is going towards north, it is not a conjoint twin. So the basic important point is that don't over diagnose a case of a conjoint twin. Because most of times, these twins look like conjoint twins. And whenever you give a sufficient time and you see for the fetal movements, you wait actually for the fetal movements and when fetal moments happen and both are going in the same direction, then only it is conjoined to it.